Welcome to a new season of Real Talk. My name is Nicole Asinigo and I am at the Backyard Bar and Grill. I'm here to talk to some amazing people about a conversation I'm 100% sure you're going to have an opinion on. Follow me. On this episode, we have Lola Adamson, publicist and talent manager, photographer and vlogger Enyola Abumere, fast rising Nigerian actress Beverly Naya, popular disc jockey DJ Obi. Hello, everyone. Excited new season. Yes. How are you? Yay! Thank you, guys. So today we're going to be talking about consent. Okay. Yeah. That's an interesting. Topic. Permission. Exactly. What did you say? It's a permission. Exactly. Permission. So <laughs> the definition of consent is basically permission to do something or an agreement to have something done. Yeah. Right? That's right. So it should be quite straightforward. You would think. You would think. <laughs> but for some reason, you know, there are a lot of gray lines and like murky areas around consent. You know, a lot of people don't really know where the line is or if there is a line, you know? So I think for today, I just want to really hear you guys' opinions and then we can get a better understanding of what consent means. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so are you guys familiar with the three base system? Base. Is the way I said it actually. It's just first base, <laughs> second base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made it sound like that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Just so, just to break it down, so your first base is obviously kissing, mm. right. second base is like, you know, touching, okay, right in, it, is it anything, <laughs> foreplay, yes. heavy petting, right. whatever you want to call it. Third base, below the waist, and then the home run, right. oh. which oh. is the sexual act itself right. yeah the deed the deed yeah. you know so most women i don't know if you agree use these this base system as a mode of restriction so it's a way to set those boundaries so you know first date second date you know the guy can only get to first base and then maybe third date fourth date depending on the woman you know maybe you can enter third depending on how you're feeling Is this really your thing, though? i mean i i feel like it's it's there but not a lot of people go with those lines and those rules. Because you're saying first date now. Some people would be like, oh, I can't kiss on a first date. And exactly. some people would be like, oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I can kiss yeah. And then you have people like, so what if you guys, can you have sex on a first date? And some people are like, no. And some people are like, it depends on how, it you know, if we vibe, anything can exactly. happen. So I feel like it's just there. Yeah. But n nobody really has a clinical exactly. first, second date. You get here, you get there. Like, you go with whatever is in their head. Like, exactly. okay, let me behave myself today. Let me actually see where this can take us. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah. would you agree that, you know, you kind of have that at the back of the m your mind, even yeah. if it's a different base system for different women, right. you yeah. kind of know how far this you're going to let yeah, this guy yeah, exactly. go. Yeah, exactly. As long as you're not under the influence, you already know that, mm -hmm. like, yeah. you guys, <laughs> no matter what, you mean when you're on a date, oh, yeah, or, yeah. you know, you kind of know yeah. if he's going to get a peck at the end. Thank you so yeah. much. A peck. <laughs> you just want to give a hug, a handshake. You just want to give a hug, a handshake. I all this money for a hand. Just for a hug. It depends, you know. It just depends. But yeah. I think guys, tell me if you agree, um, use this a bit differently because guys are wired different than women, right? Mm -hmm. So guys kind of use it to see how far they can go. So, you know, first you start with kissing, and then there might be a little graze on the boob. And then, <laughs> what is that? What is that? a little graze, a graze, a graze. And then, Love depending it. on how she reacts, mm. then the graze can become like a grow. You know, it can get yeah. a little bit, I feel you like, know? Yeah. I agree. So, I agree. guys kind of like see how far they can push the build it. Up. They build guys, up, you know? Like guys go with. How you have to, you have to test is. the waters. Yeah, you gotta have yeah. to, you know, before you check jump in cold lock. water, check how cold it is. Yeah, <laughs> towing, you know, just yeah. you know, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I have a question. Okay. So is any form of sexual contact consent? Any form. Yes. So at what stage? You know, if you if you give the green light to first base, second base, right. does that mean is that consent to other like stuff? Like a natural progression? Yes, like a natural progression, exactly. Yeah. Mm. I mean, um, but then when you say green light, yeah. because then that's where that's where it gets that's where the gray area thing lies. Because green light can be can mean a lot of things for different people. The green light can be a smile for yes. somebody, and the green light can be you know the actual action for somebody else. So. It really does depend on the person, you know. Green light can mean, oh, she winked at me and is walking out the door, so that means I should follow her. And it really means, oh no, don't come close to me. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I think it depends on who, who the two people in the situation. You know? Plus, the thing with, with the green light is this. We, I mean, we all have how we feel. Mm -hmm. And it just takes a second for you to just say, oh no, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. So as a woman, mm -hmm. you might really just feel like, oh, I want it, I want it, I want it. Yeah. And then something just don't do it. Yeah. And then that's when you're like, no, stop. Okay. And even for guys as well, it happens with guys. They themselves are like, oh, really? thanks, run mm -hmm. to. Yes. I mean, just yeah. 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 And then, or, or even you don't believe it? Like, like, there are cases where women actually make the move on the guy and yeah. they're like enjoying and then the guy's like, nah, I'm no, not in yeah. the mood. Yeah. Do you understand? So it happens for both sexes. And so also like, like women being more emotional than men. Like that's usually the reason why they the may want to do it. Yeah. And they're like, no, 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 no. I don't exactly. want to mess this up, yeah. you know? Exactly. So does that mean without verbal communication that there isn't consent? I mean, but here's the, here's the thing, what, what body language though. are you throwing off? You, you know, like, yeah, but then if, if yeah. she doesn't say no and oh, he doesn't say no, I can see the speech no, bump him. That's <laughs> <laughs> right there. If she doesn't say no and uh -huh. the guy also doesn't yeah. say no and they are like obviously agreeing, agreeing. to it's not a uh, situation yeah. whereby yes. the guy is forcing himself mm -hmm. on her. That's a completely different thing. But, then, but okay. then what happens when after the do she comes out like, I really didn't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. but you should have yeah. said something. You should have said something. That's okay. what I'm saying you now. Know what I'm saying? Like, okay. As women, we have that control. Like, what? What? I mean, it's up to, to us. Yeah, you know, you, you want to do something, it's say you. No. You, you can't a man can't force himself on yes. you unless he's, he intends on that breaking true. you. Exactly. you know? Okay, I have a scenario for you guys. Okay, so classic guy meets girl situation, but in the club, they have a few drinks. They're vibing, they're dancing. You know, it's getting a little hot in the club, or they're grinding, whatever. They go okay. outside you know, share a little kiss. The guy says, come back to mine. Do you want to come back to mine? And she's like, yep. So they go back to his, you know, they take it up a notch from first base. They go into second, third. The guy thinks home run is about to come in, you know? Then she's teasing him. I know where you're going, but anyway, yeah. anyway go on. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fair on the guy, but yeah. yeah. You know, the home run is about to, be, you know, he's coming okay. into the stadium. <laughs> coming to land, you know? <laughs> this metaphor can go crazy. <laughs> So when they start having sex, she's completely silent. So she doesn't say yes, she doesn't say no. However, she's oh, just yeah. quiet. Is there consent? Yes, there was. There, yeah. 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 That's yeah. why you need yeah. to be there. verbal. Yeah, yeah. there like, was consent because kind of she didn't you, say... Giving it to him. First of all, she went home with him. Yeah. yeah. She went through all the bases with him. Exactly. So does that she mean... She didn't stop him. This is what... She this is, the choke, Yeah, this so. is why I feel like they need to educate women more, especially yeah. the younger women who are growing up. You mm -hmm. need to voice your... Just say what you want. Open your mouth and speak. Do not be scared. Mm. Even if you're in a really dangerous situation, yeah. at least if it comes to a case of everybody talk your own, you're like, I said, said no. no. Yeah. Yeah. You mm. have every right Basically. to like, talk. Once, once that is Jigga. out there, once you've said that, but like if you it, keep it, it quiet, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's not even yeah. rape because you went through everything with him. Mm -hmm. You didn't say stop. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, you he keep it quiet. He probably is exactly. just yeah. thinking, this is her own way of enjoying it. She's not talking. But She's not, yeah, it's yeah. Like, maybe her, maybe her, 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 hormones, <laughs> her hormones are just like yeah. flat and, and non-existent or something. Mm -hmm. But you need to voice right. out. So if, if she doesn't communicate her boundaries, how... how if then I, he doesn't know it. Nobody so, knows So do you think it's important for a woman to set her boundaries and be very be clear. Vocal about yeah. It. Yes. But even if okay, she's but, not vocal, um, how can about, I ask you something? What about body language, for instance? Yeah, body language is more effective, in my opinion. Yes. Why I say this is because if you are vocal about, you know, um, the situation and you know your how you feel and you know this is not, I'm not willing to do this. It's too early and stuff. You put the guy on the defense. Exactly. You know, He's and like, then I just wanted to take yeah, you to dinner. Like, Why are you talking you know, about? Like, you now look like a crazy guy. You look crazy. Yeah. You can exactly. also do that with body language. You can throw yeah, it Yeah, that's why I so, said exactly. body language. Yeah. Instead body of being language. vocal? Yeah. yeah. But the thing about body language, what do you think? Like, because body language, okay, let's talk about dressing, for instance. So, mm -hmm. That this girl that was in the club that we spoke about, you know, let's say she was wearing, wearing little booty shorts mm -hmm. and a see through top that if you look really closely, you could see her nips, you know? Mm -hmm. So, now, this kind of girl, would you say that her dressing has kind of like already consented for her? No, no, I wouldn't. You can't. I disagree. Yeah, that's what that's what it's, you would say as a guy. guy. Yeah, no, but that's it. Because that's what it comes. They say, oh mm -hmm. no, so why are you going to dress like that if you don't yeah. wear? Mm -hmm. no, 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 don't say no, don't, no, don't wear a mesh so, top you. or don't wear bum shorts yeah. because yeah. no. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Because say, most women dress way. for themselves. Yes. Let's put it this way: you dress some women how you want to be dressed. You dress how you want to be dressed. When you're going to the office, you dress 
properly, and just for the occasion. Addressed, you play, addressed, not touched. <laughs> <laughs> the female body is a piece of art, sexual art, because you have the opposite sex that you already attract. You're going to attract some guy out there. You know what I'm saying? You are somebody spec. You know what I'm saying? So when you dress in a certain way, that is sexy. Sexy is mm -hmm. throwing out the message. Provocative. Yes. Yeah. provocative. Yeah. However, you can be provocative, so, but that does not mean that you want somebody to provoke? touch you. Why provoke? In the first but case. even if you provoke, I'm not saying that it's right, but even if you provoke, that does not mean that a guy has don't the... Don't say that. Don't go he can come and yeah. in front of a lion. But the thing is, you're not a lion. You're a man. You're, a, man. you're a human being. I'm going, okay. You're not a dog. No, 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 you need to have that self-control. Yes, that, 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 that is a person. We decided to take real talk to the streets. I'm of the opinion that a woman's concept must be soft and gotten before anything meaningful can happen between you and the woman. Thank you. When you are rubbing body, you can kiss the same time. No need of asking or something like that. Not, no, is it not your lover? If he's your lover, go ahead, anything you like, do. Uh -huh. I cannot ask whether I will kiss, uh, let me kiss you or, you know, there's no need to ask him question about that. Are you wearing, as a woman, you're wearing nika and bra outside. I think you are giving, to me, you are giving the man permission to talk to you, to call you all sorts of names. So you deserve what the man to do. We all know that how you dress is how you are going to be addressed. So if a lady, dresses skimpily like wears explosive clothes that shows her body she's simply telling the guy that okay this is what she wants because normally girls like attention so and you give them the attention they want in the middle of the way she she, she says she's no longer interested to do what we plan to do especially my wife well what i'll do i'll feel i'll feel bad and I won't be happy. Uh, I will just have and do everything now only one day. If now the time I will push you, I'm Ah, I'm a man now. I'm going to live now. I'm going to live now. I'm going to go away. Anyway. You're talking about women grinding. There's a case of you dancing with a guy and the guy is starts to slide his hands down to your bum. This happens a mm. lot. Even with guys that you don't tell, you don't show them that you like them. There's mm -hmm. nobody language. Mm -hmm. You're just dancing and then they just know, oh, because you're dancing, let me Hello, slide my bro. hands down her bum. Mm -hmm. This is where, as a woman, you say no. no. That's, that's yeah. the best yeah, that's way. It. Don't leave anything up for assumption. As, as you have men, to be you vocal. should also try and, you know, listen to body language as well. Oh, I'm but, telling you right now, body, yeah. I'm telling you right now, as a guy, body language doesn't mean yeah. Funny enough, a lot of guys get in trouble. Now, when you hear accusations of rape and Kobe, and you're like, ah, oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. You know, I think the onus should be on men as well to ask questions. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure you want this? Yeah. You know, so that brings me to my next question. Is consent gender bias? So no. do you think it's all about women? Do you it, think... it falls more for women because of the natural progression of things between men and women. With yeah. men, it's expected that they always want it. So you're not really taking permission, if you give it, he's ready for it, you know what I'm saying? But that's not always the case. But that's There's not some always men that very rare, didn't want it. Very I, rare. I, I heard a story about a woman, an older woman, who was trying to, you know, give a guy a contract, and a lot of older women do this, you know, asking the guy to sleep with her. Yeah. And, you know, there's that pressure, you know? Yeah. So, mm. a lot of guys experience this, but you, as a man, it might be hard to come and say, ah, this girl is sexually it's harassing me. I, mean, I feel like society just makes you look at this situation and think that oh even if as a woman i i, I tell a man oh i'm going to, i want you to sleep with me before i give you this contract or before i give you this money society makes you believe that oh men will enjoy it regardless mm, they would right, they wouldn't right, mind right, they'd be right. like uh -huh, i will sleep with you man and i'll still collect money on top yeah. enjoy and Sign me up. so <laughs> They just, it just makes you feel like, oh, men don't mind. So mm -hmm. let's not even bother whether Talking men are, it, are bothered about it or not because yeah. they shouldn't mind. They're getting free sex mm -hmm. and free money. But that's wrong yes. because wrong. they have yeah. feelings as well. Yeah. Like they also view things the way women view certain things. Mm -hmm. And it's like, don't disrespect me or don't touch my bum like he was saying or mm -hmm. don't pull my beard or something or I don't want to have sex with you. Yeah. It's yeah. as simple as that. I yeah. don't want to have sex with you. Yeah. You can't force me. It okay. definitely shouldn't be that way. It should. The same way women are out here fighting for gender equality, mm -hmm. it should, should be you understand. Balance. You should also so, put them into I have another consideration. Question. Don't get too happy. Again, <laughs> at what point can consent be withdrawn? So can you withdraw during the act? 
No. Yeah. No, but um, if you do that, then there's something wrong. I mean, you see people who, in the middle, who halfway just say, stop, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, halfway through. Because you start to, maybe you start to think, maybe you feel guilty. Maybe you're cheating on your wife. Exactly. You know? So maybe your moral conscience kicks in and you say no. Never have allowed it to get to that point. In the first place, there you go. The man. Yes. If it's the man. Yes. It's totally unfair. Because you start to But what does the man, what does the man do in this instance? No, he's a star. He's a star. My thing is once once she's vocal, yeah. once she's vocal, yeah. do not proceed. That's like, simple. Even yeah. if you are even if you are about to finish, once she's vocal, <laughs> don't don't proceed because yeah. then right there and then it's no it's like, it's yeah. something else. But they say that sometimes when you guys, I don't know, they say Sha, right. that when you guys are having sex, you can't hear it. <laughs> so what is she saying? Not literally, not literally, not literally, yeah. but clearly you will not think it. I don't think anybody thinks straight. They ask questions. They ask questions. Don't they ask? Really? No, because this is what I was going to do. Come back, come back, come back to work. Come back I don't think anybody thinks Isn't straight. <laughs> Well, not that they don't think straight, but I don't think, you know, anyone's thinking logically, yeah, right, yeah, because you're in a time. zone yeah. at that point, yeah. you get what I'm saying? But yeah. if your moral consciousness kicks in at some point and you decide to withdraw, once she says no, once he says no, you no know, means no. No, no means, means no, no. Yeah. literally. So, Obi, any last words on consent? No means no, be very vocal, you know, say say what you want and mean what you say. So if it's no, it's no, if it's yes, it's yes. No, don't leave room for assumption because yeah. then you might mislead the guy. Exactly. Yeah. What he said, I mean, definitely have to be very vocal, voice out your opinions, both guys and women. It's not just for women. And I, I guys in particular need to listen. The fact that she said no doesn't mean that she's just saying no for the fun of it. She yeah, actually she means, means no, no. So yeah. stop it. Yeah, I agree. Um, I would say like ladies, it's very important to like know your worth. I think that's important. And I think that, you know, when it comes to to dating, don't feel like you have to open your legs to please a guy, yeah. you know? Because then you'll, you'll literally do it with regret. You won't be happy at the end of it, you know? know so values. yeah, know your values know your and values. know why you're doing something and just always wait until you're ready. You're ready. Yeah. Um, I think always have the conversation. It may be hard, you know, emotions are running high, hormones and everything, but you'll be glad if you have that conversation, even if it's, are you all right? Are you okay? Do you want to go ahead with this? Just those little things. Little things. Yeah, both ways. Mm -hmm. And because um, we live in crazy times, crazy. you don't even have to be like a billionaire or a baller or anything for you to get into some serious trouble or for someone just to just mess your life up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's my advice. Thank you guys so much. I really Thank appreciate you. the Thanks conversation and the awesome. realness. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. If you guys want to join the conversation, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all social media platforms at Indani TV. See you soon.